What's going on guys? It's Hot Kicks 411. Today we're looking at the Nike Jordan Retro 5. We got the shattered backboard. Without further ado, giving you guys a look into the box. Very nice, very nice. The shattered backboards. So you know how it goes with these reviews. We get into all the little details, what I like, what I don't like. And at the end, I'll be wrapping up, uh, you know, my final thoughts on the sneaker. So bear me just one second. We'll get this out the way. And bam, we got the shattered backboard Jordan 5s. These things are tough. So right off the bat, for me, one of the things that sticks out most noticeably, we've got this nice protector over the tongue. Nike came in clutch with this nice um, little piece of plastic cardboard they got going on just to make sure that the lace lock doesn't scratch the 3M tongue up. So I do appreciate that. Then getting into the lace lock itself. You can see we got a black lace lock with that gold jump man, the all white laces, got the black sock liner. Now something that very much sticks off as well is the fact that you might not be able to pick it up on the camera so well, but this is not truly a white, white sneaker. It's more like an off white, kind of like a cream type of color. I mean, right here, you could see clearly this is definitely some age type of look to it. But even the bottoms, you take a look, they got kind of an aged look to them, you know. So the whole shoe has kind of got like a yellowed white to it, which personally I think is dope as hell. I think that's, um, you know, it's definitely a very nice touch on these. And then moving forward, you do have on the back your Jumpman. You got the Air Jordan. And then it's looking like it's glistening in some silver speckles, you know, so very nice with that air jordan tongue as well as you got those yellow bottoms you also have the red jump man and then we have the black midsole sorry about the sudden change you got the black midsole as well as this orange on black more of that speckled silver type of glittered pattern we got going on as well as there's some shark teeth or some fighter jet wings however you want to put it I think this is dope, definitely a nice feature. Now they went with this net padding on the entire shoe. So normally the insides are net like the Air Jordan 4s, but here they decided to add that same net-like pattern over to the upper of the shoe, as well as um, the upper inside of the shoe. So definitely a neat feature, you know, very nice. I think these are much harder than the Moonlight 5s in my opinion. Um, again, that bottom is just crazy. They got this aged orange yellowish bottom. So that's super, super dope. Looking at the middle, you still got some more of that netted pattern like right here on the actual tongue itself. Um, some white laces only came with one pair of laces. On the lace lock, you'll see a little Nike, some of their, you know, um, logos and signature, Nike signature on it. So you do have a very soft, very comfortable insole. Um, the sock liner is very, very nice. The insides are coming with this bright orange type of look to it, you know, for the shattered backboard effect. They were also calling these, I believe, um, orange blaze, which obviously shattered backboard is gonna be a nicer name. It's probably sticking a lot better. We do have some of the black hints here, some more black, black hints. They're kind of going for the shattered backboard one look with the way that they have the orange, black, and white playing off each other. Um, however, obviously the Jordan 1 back shattered backboard is going to be very hard to compare to this sneaker. You know, that one with the quality of the materials and things, it really is just hard to beat. And it's a Jordan 1, so... Obviously, it's going to be worth more. It's a much nicer sneaker in a, a lot of senses. Now, as far as the quality on these, I'm not an expert in this field, but I know when something feels well just by touch and look. And I honestly, I like, I normally don't like the net pattern, but I like the fact that they added it to this. It gives it a real off-white type of feel to it. You know, I'm really digging the type of vibes they got going on here. The leather doesn't feel cheap. You know, it's all tumbled in a manner where... 
it didn't come pre-creased it's looking really just very nice I, I to me it doesn't look like a cheap leather i don't know if they're fooling me with the tumble design here but it's a uh, very nice very very nice you know the back you got this nice stitching where you got the normal jordan 5 back layout you know but just with the netting instead of your normal uh leather canvas so you know, overall, very dope sneaker. You know, I was surprised when these came that I liked them as much as I do. I think that this is uh, something that I'm keeping in the collection. I'm not really even looking to trade these. I think down the line, they're going to be worth more money. So, you know, I'm going to hold them. And as far as if anyone else was looking into doing any trades besides this sneaker, I will go and link my trade block in the description below because I do have a handful of sneakers I am trying to get rid of. But that basically wraps up what I'm thinking with this sneaker. You know, what do you guys think? Was this something that you missed? Were you able to get it for retail? Was this something that you were looking to get? You know, definitely a dope sneaker in my eyes. You got that orange, that orange Jumpman with the 3M, which there isn't much 3M material on here, but I know this is 3M and there's probably little hints or it's just this tongue. But, you know, regardless, super, super dope, super, super dope. And I do greatly appreciate each and every one of you for watching till the end. If you could like, comment, subscribe, it really goes a long way. And I will be catching you in the next one.